on Wednesday, February 16th, 2022 at 7pm at the Viaco Theater, Studio on the Square, 2105 Court Avenue, in the Memphis host the Anthony F. Elmore Black History Film, Orange Round, a Black Lecture, Critical Race Theory. Orange Round is the first community in America built for Blacks, not Blacks. Orange Round filmmaker Anthony F. Elmore notes that Orange Round suffers with his worst white supremacy, racism, and black on black racism. Watch the scenes in the movie at a time in the late 1960s. Orange Mound was the best place and had the best park of any black community in Memphis. At the time of this lecture, the movie King Richard tells the story of the famed tennis players Venus and Serena Williams. In the movie, there existed a community tennis court. Once upon a time in Orange Round, there was the park with the only swimming pool we blacks had for miles and miles. We love baseball and we had a baseball diamond and we had a tennis court. The Mid-South Refrigeration Company wanted to expand and the racist whites sold the Orange Mound Black Community Park to the Mid-South Refrigerating Company. They filled the community swimming pool. They destroyed the tennis courts and the baseball fields. Imagine the damage this white supremacy did to Orange Mound. There could have been a Venus and Serena Williams could have come from Orange Mound. We have gold medal winners and world champions. We have an African-American gold medal swim swimmer. Her name is Simone Manuel. Now, she is the first African-American to win a gold medal in swimming. White people pride themselves stating how bad and dangerous Orange Mound is. Imagine the irre irreparable damage that the racist whites did destroyed a viable park for black youth. It is time that African American leaders do something and put something better where that park is right now. We can put where they tore down that park, the African American Museum of Black History and Culture, for the first class theater there, and even a swimming pool. We no longer need blacks to remain silent. You see, State Representative G.A. Hardaway and State Senator Ramash Arkberry. They were committed to $18 million to give to the failed Bluff City law that did not guarantee anything, but yet none of these representatives, including Jamila Swanger, would say anything about putting an African American Museum of Black Memphis history and culture and doing something significant.